Hi guys, welcome back to my studio. If you're just joining us, this is acrylic painting with me, Julie E. And uh, I just got this new Berta hair dryer from Amazon. And I got it for just under 15 US dollars. Uh, it came to just slightly over 15, I think with taxes. But it is amazing. I love it. It's very similar to the flower um, blow dryer that you see Tammy Anderson and Canela use. But I don't think they have a cool shot on theirs. And this one does. Um, but it just has the one heat setting. And then you've got low and high fan. That's it. Just those two things. But it's a really nice little size. Easy to control. So... And while I was talking with Christina Welch during, well, chatting, it was during a live chat during some premieres on Sunday, um, I was talking about how I'd just gotten a new hair dryer, and she knew exactly which one I was talking about right out the gate. And she said that she strapped her little cool shot button down so that she doesn't have to worry about trying to hold that while she's blowing. And I thought, well, that's a great idea. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that with mine. And what I've got is a little zip tie. Yep, this way. Okay. And so I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to hold that in place. Let me get this started first. There we go. And I'm just going to hold that over the cool shot button. And give it a good tight yank there we go all right and then we're just going to clip this off i've got a pair of little wire cutters and i'm not going to cut it all the way down to the nub i'm going to leave a little hang off there there we go and just like that there we go that easy thank you christina welch for the tip this is going to be so much easier to use now. Okay, let's get back to our Dutch pour. Okay, so these are the canvases that we're using today. They are 8x8 eight eight deep dish canvases from Mark and Art. That's our base color, Deco Art Suede, and it is in the color of Plum. Then we're going to be using Pearl Rose Quartz by Arteza. Golden Iridescent Fine. Fluid Acrylics. Prism Violet. Liquitex Professionals Heavy Body Acrylic. And Color Shift by Folk Art in Blue Flash. So those are our colors. And I am using Mix Pour as my pouring medium. For every seven grams of paint, I put one gram, or I mean for every seven grams of mix, I put one gram of paint. Okay, let's get started. So yeah, if you're using ounces for every seven ounces of mix, you put in one ounce of paint. So it's a seven, seven part mix, one part paint. And then I just added water to thin to the right consistency. dries a bit darker. Now this is a textured paint so there might be a couple little chunky monkeys in here. I'm trying to get most of them out. 
but you never know. Alright, let me make sure this is off. Okay. Oh, that's so much nicer with the cool <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's so much nicer with that cool strap that cool button strapped down with the little zip tie. Much easier. All right. easier to blow stuff out with than my beast. I don't know if you guys have seen me try to use that hair dryer. Oh my gosh. It's one that the husband bought and oh man, it's so hard to control the air out of it. So I'm super happy with this little Berta one. What is that? Get a little bit of texture. Okay. Can we got those all over. Nope. Okay, good. Cool, oh, cool, cool. Alright. Air bubbles. Not really many. What is that? Hmm. Tis something. Tis something I don't want in there. Okay. Huh. Oh, yeah. It must be the texture. Okay. Okay, now colors. Let's see, what shall we put down first? Um, I'm going to put the blue down first. go from this corner. Okay. 
This one came out beautiful. This one I don't like at all. Okay. So. Nothing says you have to keep it if you don't like it, right? Okay. I think my mistake was trying to go in the same direction the entire time. hard to stop yourself you want to just keep going to the other canvas uh, what other color do I have
That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. I'm not a fan of this.
much better. Okay. see what this looks like dry because I know the dioxazine purple is going to dark to dry really super dark and then we already saw that the plum dries darker so yeah I think with the iridescent gold fine which looks yellow to me right now and then the color shift blue and the pearl pink I think that's really gonna pop I think it's gonna be really pretty Okay, let's see. Wish I had more lacing like this one. I don't know why I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna futz with it. I'm going to futz. showing up. Cool. Okay. That does it. And turn this back this way because it looks better. Looks better that way. It's not too matchy-matchy, but it kind of looks better that it flows into each other. Or I can even put them on opposite sides because these corners look like they could go together too. Either way, it's pretty and I like it. Ooh, what is that blue line coming up right there? I don't remember seeing that. Hmm. There, soften it up a little bit. That's better. Okay. Just kind of looking over it, seeing, seeing if there's other things I want to change. <laughs> if I need to scrape and re-blue, but I don't think I do. I kind of like this just the way it is. Okay, one last torchy torchy. I will go along and Take off the drips from around the bottom of the canvas. Which there are not many. And then I will see you back here for dry results. Okay, so. I was testing out the new dryer on Artapalooza last week and it was an amazing Dutch pour and yeah um, I did it on a reused canvas on an old canvas and unfortunately it split it's one of the few times I have ever had um, a painting split on me while using mix and I don't think it was the fault of the mix at all. I just think I didn't properly um, prep the canvas underneath for it. And them's the breaks. That's what happens sometimes. So I should have sanded it a lot better and probably pre guessed it. So what you gonna do, right? Here they are, all dry and pretty. 